Batman is one of the most beloved comic book characters of all time, and the recent string of Arkham games from Rocksteady have been some of the best media that the franchise has had to offer in the past few years. Rocksteady handed over the reins of the franchise to Warner Brothers Games Montreal, who have created a prequel entitled Arkham Origins, set just two years after Bruce Wayne has become the Dark Knight. On one crazy Christmas Eve night, crime lord Black Mask puts a $50 million bounty on Batman's head, and hires eight of the world's deadliest assassins to take him down. Bane, Deathstroke, Deadshot, Lady Shiva, Firefly, and Copperhead will be among the characters looking to take down the bat and collect the money. But assassins aren't the only problem Batman will have to face over the course of the night. Gotham City is riddled with other most wanted criminals like Anarchy, Penguin, Riddler, and the Joker. Batman will have the opportunity to take them down as well to gain a better reputation with the GCPD. That's right, this time around, Batman and the GCPD are at odds with one another, and the Caped Crusader will need to work hard to gain their trust and prove he is more than just a vigilante. Batman's exploits will take place on a map that is roughly twice the size of the Arkham City map, and will be located on two islands in Gotham City proper. In order to manage the size, the Batwing will be used as a quick travel system throughout the map. The Batcave will make its proper appearance in Arkham Origins, and will be a hub for Batman to get new gadgets and train in the challenge maps to level up and earn new upgrades. New gadgets like the Remote Claw, which tethers enemies to one another or to objects in the environment, and the Concussion Detonator, which works in a similar fashion to a flashbang grenade, stunning opponents, will be added to Batman's arsenal. A solid single-player experience is not all that Arkham Origins is set to bring to the table. Arkham Origins will feature a series first online multiplayer mode that will pit players against one another as either members of Bane's crew, Joker's crew, or the dynamic duo of Batman and Robin. Bane and Joker's crews will consist of three players on each side, and their mission will be to capture control points around the map and deplete the other crew's respawns. Batman and Robin will drop in on the map and attempt to take out the crews to stop the fighting. After a certain amount of time, one player in each of the three-man teams will have the opportunity to control Bane or Joker and turn the tide of the battle. Arkham Origins is set to be released on October 25th for the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, PC, and Wii U. Check out VGU.TV for the full written preview and more news on Arkham Origins as we near release.